Hello friends! Welcome back to my channel! Or welcome if you're new here. My name is Mandy and I like to talk about makeup and makeup panning. Today I have an intro I didn't think I was going to do, but the FOMO got me and um, yeah, I'm joining Fifty Shades of Yellow slash Gold. So stay tuned. All right, I wasn't going to do this project because I don't particularly care for yellow, but watching everybody else's intros and seeing how many products had packaging that have yellow or gold on them made me think, okay, I'm going to do it. And so I've gone through my skincare, hair care, and makeup, and body care, and rounded up all the products I could find with yellow on the packaging, yellow product, or yellow or gold um, and I think I've come up with 39 in the past I've done this rolling style doing a few in at a time this time I'm gonna bring in as many products as I can find which like I said I think is 39 I haven't written them down but I counted them and I got 39 I thought think so that means I'll have to round up 11 more and um, yeah we're gonna go ahead and get started and tell you all the products I put in or round it up for this I'm putting in for this product so I have a basket full of makeup in front of me not makeup uh, body skincare stuff so let's start with that I don't know where to start okay we'll start with um, first of all sunscreen for my face um, this could be skincare or you know this is sun bum and it is yellow um, my goal is to use as much of this as possible probably the whole thing so I wear it every day so that is that. And to go along with that, I have my sun balm for my body. This is SPF 50, also yellow. Um, this one is from last year, and it expires, I think, later this in August this year. So I will mark where we are on this because I didn't think to do it beforehand because I'm just trying to get this done as fast as possible. But I will mark my um, starting point. Um, and we will keep track of that and hopefully use this one up as well. All right, and then sticking with the body, I think. Oh, they're all kind of thrown in here together. Okay, let's stick with, um, okay, this one, pale yellow. In, I mean, that's what the packaging color looks like to me is pale yellow. And this is my Hey Humans deodorant. And this is in the Rose Water Ginger. I mean, you can argue if that's not pale yellow, but I think that looks like pale yellow to me. And my goal is to use that up. Um, then I have a hand cream, also pale yellow. It's looking white on screen, but to me it is a very, very pale yellow. Not as pale as that, but it's very pale yellow. And um, this is a Hava soothing hand cream in superfood and with kale and turmeric and this is also uh, previously used I believe we're about here um, I will make marks for sure but my goal is going to be to finish that then I have for the bath I have this urban hydration brighten and glow peach and papaya bubble bath um, there is yellow in the peaches and papayas on the front of the bottle and as you can see this one we can see through I have started using this and um, yep, I'm gonna finish that. And then this one is a little bit tricky. This is a soap, a bar of soap from Zum. This is the Zum, Zum Bar Goat's Milk Soap in Dragon's Blood. This is the wrapper. I've already started using this soap. It is my travel soap. So this is what it looks like here. It's dry, so I will show you. It is getting pretty thin but my goal is going to be to use that up and that is the yellow wrapper that goes with it and did I say that's in dragon's blood um then we have a lotion this is from hemp's you can see yellow in the package here this is wildflowers and chamomile um and I want to use as much as possible hopefully the whole thing but I am bringing that in for use we have um, also from Zum, my Zum Mist, and this is um, has gold on the packaging. It's kind of a faded gold, but 
there is gold on the packaging. Also, the product is kind of goldish. Yellow. Um, this is my frankincense and myrrh aromatherapy room and body mist. This is currently in a project for a number of uses. Once it's done with that, it'll roll into this. There are several products that are in projects right now that once they're done with their usage goal, they will be rolling into this project for finishing. Um, I don't think there's anything in here that was in a project to finish already. Um, trying to stick with the body, we have this guy here. It's got yellow in the leaves. It's kind of a dark yellowy orange. We're going with it. Um, this is the Petty in a Box Deluxe Four Step uh, Pedicure Kit. And this is in Pumpkin Spice. I got this in a FabFitFun eons ago and found it recently. So this has enough for two complete pedicures, four step pedicures. So my goal is to use those up. All right, and then we have some hair products. So we have, I'm calling this yellow, and I think Jessica, Jessica Lee called this yellow as well. This is the Tahitian Gardenia Flower, Gardenia Flower and Mango Butter. This is their Kerr Conditioner and the shampoo. Um, this one's a little more yellow, I think. They're kind of an orangey yellow, but we're going with it. And my goal is to use those. The shampoo is currently in a project for uses. I will mark where we are starting with that. And this is brand new, not even opened. And we'll see how far we can get with that in a year. And then a little to finish, a gimme product. This is from Manic Panic. This is their Prepare to Die Clarifying Shampoo. And I am right there. Just a little bit left. There is yellow in this packaging. And my goal is still going to be to finish that up. Um, and then I have from Pacifica, the Coco Gloss Shine Serum has gold packaging. And it's anti-frizz and big shine with uh, coconut and hemp. One of the many hair products I bought trying to figure out what I need for my hair. And I haven't gotten around to using it yet because I'm trying to finish up other products. Um, so that is in to get as much use as possible. I doubt I'll finish it, but I'm trying to get it as much use. Um, this one is to finish. This is from Glow Gorgeous. It has gold there in the lettering. And this is a defense de detoxifying scalp scrub. Um, and it's just a deluxe sample. I'm going to try and finish that. Okay, and then I think all the rest is skin care. So I have another gimme product. This is a sample packet from Dam Dam of their Moki Moki um, cream, face cream. That is a sample of that. And then this is from Fleur and B Nectar of the C uh, Vitamin C Serum. The product, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. The product is yellow. So I'm bringing that in to finish it. I am currently working on it, so we're starting um, right about there, right where it says Fleur and B. And then also a product with yellow on the packaging. There's a big yellow there, and gold there, and gold down here. This is the Asano Hydrating Rose Hip Eye Cream. Um, this is made in New Zealand, apparently, and I am bringing this in to finish. It has... 15 mils. I've already started using it, but just barely. All right, another face serum that I consider to be yellow. This is in a orange bottle, though. This is the Hey Honey Be Clear Skin Purifying B Propolis Drops. Um, and the product, hopefully you can see in front of my face there, is yellow. Um, my goal is going to be to finish that up. It already has use. Um, from Milani, this has gold in the packaging. And this is their Rose Water Refresh and Prep Hydrating Mist. I have already started this. I don't know if I can see through it, but I will try and mark it. And that is for finishing. And um, this one is going to be a bit of a stretch. This is a Spa Scriptions Lip uh, Exfoliating lip exfoliator, uh, lip scrub, and this is yellow, and it is in um, 
Manuka Honey and Nectarine. And I have used, I've used a bit of this already, but I don't use lip scrubs very often. Um, I often forget about them, so I'm going to try and get as much use out of this, hopefully finishing it. Um, then we have two things left, and then we'll move on to makeup. So the first one is this Freeman uh, In Shower Warming Mask. You can obviously, there is a bright yellow sun on it. And um, my goal is going to be to finish that. And then this is... From Biosance, this is a deluxe sample of their squalene and amino aloe gentle cleanser. It has a gold cap there, and I have already started using this, and it is, I think you can see, half full, or half, yeah, we'll say half full. And so, if you were counting, I don't know how many that is, but that's all the skin care um, and hair care, body care that I am bringing in. So give me one moment to put all this away and then I'll grab the makeup products. Okay, I am back and I'm ready with my makeup products. So we'll start with what's on top. Um, this is from Essence. It is the Get Big Lashes Volume Boost Mascara. Um, I'm going to bring this in for three months of use. Um, yeah. This is a nail polish from uh, ASP. This is their, I can't read it, but it is in the shade Highlight of My Life, right? Highlight of My Day. This is a bright highlighter yellow nail polish I'm bringing in for three uses. I've learned my lesson, only three uses. Um, and then another yellow nail polish. This is from e.l.f. and their Game Up collection. This is just a yellow cream. I'm bringing this in also for three uses. And then last nail polish I'm bringing in is from Complex, Complex Culture, and it has a gold cap, and this is the, sh oh, this, yeah, that one doesn't have a shade name. This is the shade Hustle, right? Yes, shade Hustle from Complex Culture, and I'm bringing that in for three uses. Okay, uh, now let's do, let's wait, leave that, okay. Um, we have from BH Cosmetics the Base Booster um, Glitter and Shadow Glue. Um, I've had this for a while. It has gold writing and a gold cap. Um, I hardly ever remember to use it, so I'm bringing this in to get as much use as possible. Um, it does have some use, but there's air in there. I can't tell how much use it's had, so we're going to work on it. Um, next from Milani with the gold writing on there. This is their Screen Queen um, foundation originally in 110 cool porcelain but I did add some Yensa in here to warm it up a little bit um, and we are starting it's about right here you can it's pretty it's settled pretty well there's a little bit of a well and some sticking to the sides but my goal is going to be to finish that and speaking of Yensa I have the this Yensa primer this is the um, tone up primer in essential glow and it has a gold cap on it, and I'm going to try and use this up. And I think we're about here. I will try and shine a light through there to see for sure. Um, I haven't marked it, but that is going to be to finish. All right, and then we have some lip products. Um, the first is the gloss. This is in um, Legends Only, just a clear gloss, and it has gold cap and gold writing. I am bringing this in to finish and another gloss this is supreme gloss um, gold writing on that package and this is the shade uh, uh, no shame no shame and then two more lip products with gold this is from BH cosmetics it is their cashmere cream lip color um, this one you've probably seen quite a bit. This is shade 100. This is a purpley one. And then I have another one. This is the shade uh, FTW. And this is the pinky one. And I'm bringing these both in for 30 uses. I can go 50. Let's go 50 uses. It is 50 shades. And I can, you know, use lip products, no problem. So the lip glosses are to finish. These lip creams are for 50 uses. And then we have, okay, 
all palettes. So one face product. This is from Odin's Eye. This is the Norns um, Mesmerizer Veil of Future Highlighter. Um, it has gold in the highlighter, and then the packaging has gold on it. I am bringing this in for 50 uses. Because why not? All right, and then the rest are all eyeshadow palettes. So the first one is this great big Mama Jamma, the um, Jawbreaker. It has yellow speckling on, in, in the, on the packaging, so good enough. I have never touched this. I never used it once. This is what it looks like on the inside. No swatching, no touching, anything of that sort. I am bringing this in for no pan left behind. I'm going to use each shade at least once. I'm looking forward to it. These are some really pretty colors. And all the eyeshadows, in case I forget to say, are for no pan left behind. The next one is this one here from Winky Lux with its gold packaging. And this is the Latte Kitten palette. And also another one I have not... Actually, I, I may have swatched some of these shades, but I have not used them on my eyes. And I'm bringing this in for no pan left behind. See how I feel about it? And it has a very faint, faint coffee smell. Okay. Um, some palettes you've probably seen before. This is my uh, Trendy in Tokyo yellow on the packaging and again no pan left behind in here and uh, more yellow uh, gold packaging this is the Alva from Odin's Eye and no pan left behind on this guy as well I have used quite a few of these I know this one I don't particularly care for it has glitter in it but some of the other ones are quite nice so get some more love and use out of this palette. And finally, the last palette and last item I'm bringing in is the ABH Riviera that has gold writing on it. And I am bringing it in for no pan left behind. I have only used one of these shades once. That's Coastline here. It's in a project currently, but I'd like to um, have a chance to play with all of these other shades. So hopefully that was quick and simple and short and sweet and to the point. I am bringing in a bunch of stuff and I'm going to work on it. And hopefully I will be uh, fairly successful. Already I brought in more products than I did for Fifty Shades of Green. So yay me! And I think I've learned my lessons and set reasonable goals that will be easy to complete. So wish me luck. And I look forward to seeing everybody else's progress in this project this year. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave me a yellow or orange golden heart in the uh, comment section. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. This video, take care of yourselves. Stay true to you. And I'll see you later. Bye.